I've got these two balloons here and they're identical except this one is inflated more than this one and they're joined by a rubber tube but at the moment there's a clamp on the tube preventing air from traveling freely between the two. So I want you to make a prediction. What's gonna happen when I remove the clamp? And you've got three options. A, nothing happens. B, uh, the bigger balloon gets smaller and the smaller balloon gets bigger. Or C, the bigger balloon gets bigger and the smaller balloon gets smaller. So pause the video now and make your prediction in the comments. Okay, here we go. Removing the clamp. Okay, so that's weird. The large balloon got larger and the small balloon got smaller, which is option C. And... That's really counterintuitive. I hope that most of you put B in the comments because that was my assumption when I first saw this, that the larger balloon would get smaller and the smaller balloon would get larger, that they would kind of reach an equilibrium where they're the same size. And my thinking behind that was, well, balloons are made of rubber and when you stretch rubber, the rubber stretches back. And the more you stretch it, the more it pulls back. So surely the more inflated balloon is gonna be pulling back more, the pressure inside is gonna be greater, and air travels from areas of high pressure to low pressure. So the air should be going in, in that direction. But clearly that's not what's happening. Well, what I just described was Hooke's law, which applies to things like springs. So when you stretch a spring, it pulls back, and the more you stretch a spring, the more it pulls back. And Hooke's law applies to rubber as well. So there must be something else going on, which is this. The thicker your rubber is, the more it pulls back, which makes sense. Thick rubber is stronger than thin rubber. So because these balloons are identical, they're made of the same amount of rubber. But in the case of the larger balloon, the rubber is stretched over a larger area, so it's thinner. And if it's thinner, it's easier to stretch. So that's why in this case, the thinning effect of the balloon beats Hooke's law. So there you go. The unexpected equilibrium found between two balloons. And that's the end of the video, except, here's an extra little bit of detail for people who are interested. Hooke's law is a linear relationship between distance stretched and force pulling back. So in the case of a balloon, uh, if you double the radius, you double the force. But the thickness of the balloon is related to the square of the radius because it's related to the surface area. So if you double the radius of the balloon, the thickness of the rubber goes down by a factor of four. It's quartered. So when you double the radius, the force due to Hooke's law doubles, but the, the thickness uh, goes down by a factor of four. So the thinning of the rubber grows more quickly. And that's why in this situation, the thinning effect beats 